Hello everybody, we are here at MasterChef Global Kitchen with another episode of Healthy Cooking. And today we have another special guest which I let him to introduce himself to you and tell him about his journey in the industry of hospitality. Sure, thank you Ali. Hello, my name is Lalit and I've been chef from past few years, you can say 20 years, 25 years, traveling around the world. But in past five or four years I started thinking about the healthy cooking for myself, for my family and to my friends. And now I met Ali and we've been doing this uh, for MasterChef Global. And today I'm here to do a three course menu for you. Okay, for starters, so I've tried to keep the things very, very simple and extract as much as natural sugar, salt and nutrients from the food itself. Yeah. So to do that, for the starters, I've taken here some salmon. This is fresh salmon. Okay. So this fresh salmon, I can do a very quick pickling so that we retain all the nutrients in it. Then I got some fresh mixed leaves, spinach, some tomatoes, baby tomatoes. You can use any tomatoes, heritage tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Then I got some beetroot here, mm -hmm. just to give extra flavor, earthy flavor to it, and mm -hmm. also some a nice color to it. To present it, I will have some basil pesto, basil oil or coriander oil, it's all up to your taste. But this is like a, a very perfect guideline to how to present it. Mm -hmm. And comes with a, some mixed leaf salad and that's about it. It will take you only 15 minutes maximum just to create a dish like this, full of nutrients and full of health. Lovely. Are we yeah. going to use these spices, the fennels and everything yes. as well? This I'll be using here, what do I have here is, is just the vinegar. Here I'm just using white wine vinegar. Uh -huh. Then I have here in the dried herbs or the spices, mm -hmm. black pepper, coriander seed, fennel seed, some bay leaf. Mm -hmm. And if you want, you can add some clove. Clove okay. will give it a, a little bit of sharp, pungent uh, thing. Okay. Literally, the salmon goes only for five to seven minutes as I will be cutting them in very thin slices. And okay. then we straight away can present the things. Lovely. So let's have a look. Okay, so to begin with, what I'll do is I'll drop these, all the herbs in it. Don't worry about the all the spices here, don't worry about it because we will not be using them so that they don't come to your. So that's done and this is pretty much ready. In the meanwhile, what I can do is I can also slice my carrot. Uh, Ali, well, how can I slice this carrot? Okay, so very nice and easy. What we're going to do today is we're going to use these uh, food processor which is called salad master machine mm -hmm. uh, and that's where the name of our company come from okay. called salad master it's mm -hmm. master of the salad that's why it's called salad master mm -hmm. and uh, surprisingly this piece has been around for 75 years 75, 75 years of age and it still is one of the best kitchen gadgets in the whole world Loads of people love it. When you have this at home, not everybody has to be like you, a master chef, to cut and chop and dice everything. So they don't have the same skills as you. So they can have the salad master machine in home and it would help them to dice and chop and slice in just a few seconds. When you have this machine at home, it looks like you have six chefs cutting your vegetable at the same time for you. It's very easy to use. It comes with five different cones uh, and the cones are very easy to use. So you will plug it in clockwise and to clockwise out. Uh, and it's got three suction pad in the bottom and make it nice and secure and steady so it doesn't move at all as long as the surface is dry uh, and uh, we're going to use our salad bowl today this is a special bowl okay. uh, it's a double wall bowl so when you put something cold it can keep it cool for a long time mm -hmm. and if you put something warm it can keep it warm for a long time so now how are we going to use it? Uh, you can use the vegetable, uh, if I may I get. Yeah, yeah, so uh, you can put it inside mm -hmm. and then you can use the safeguard or you can hold it and just hold it towards the safeguard 
and you just turn it and you're gonna see nice leads coming out from there. So shall I do the first one? And we yes, have please, a look? show me one. So like nice and easy, you don't have to do. So this shape is called waffle shape. So you can get the nice, and if you're using the for the potato, you can get something similar to macaroni chips. Oh, so amazing. we do it nice and easy. You can put also your hands inside and slowly take it out. Look at this beautiful uh, wow. carrots. Wonderful. Nice, beautifully shaped. And then uh, this, there you go. Thank you very much. Ready for you. So that's, thank you Ali for doing this for me. Um, okay, now, just because carrots are slightly harder than, uh, uh, harder than any other vegetables, so, or the salad, so I'm gonna marinate this one also in the same mixture which I have for the salmon. So I will drop a few, that's all, all I need. And rest I can use for the other salad for later. Now, coming to the salmon, I'll take salmon and I'll take a sharp knife and then you can go a very slant angle. This dish is very, very simple and full of flavors. So I'm trying to cut it as thin as possible and try also not to lose anything on the skin. I'll drop them in and it starts curing. This is the easiest and the healthiest way of curing it. Give it a little stir. You will see salmon losing its color a little bit. That's absolutely fine because that's curing. That's cooking and ma making it more palatable for you. Okay, now let's plate up. We'll be using this white plate. So to do start with, I'll take a heap of basil pesto. Spread it along with the plate. Like so. I'll take the core ingredient, which is fish. Now some radish, some tomatoes, some beetroot, spinach, and some leaves. That's it. Now to dress it up, we're gonna use the same liquor which we used to do the pickling or the curing of the salmon instead of using any other dressing which has oil, sugar or salt. I'll just drop a little bit on the top. Now we finish it off with some fresh sprigs of dill which goes really good with your salmon. So here we are Ali, we're ready with uh, the first starter. Wow chef, thank you so much. That looks amazing and beautiful. You've done an amazing job. I'm sure our viewers love it. They're gonna try it at home and they're gonna send us some love. How they can do that? They're gonna leave a comment. They're gonna like our video so we can do more videos for them. And also if they would like to get uh, you know, their hands on our product, we're gonna put the link in the bottom and they can click on the link and get more to know more about our product. Mm -hmm. And thank you so much for your time and taking your time to come in and uh, showing a wonderful uh, dish which has been prepared in just a few minutes, yes. nice and healthy. And we're looking forward to the next course, which you're going to see on the next episode. Thank you. Thank you.